could hear the Monkey King's laughter on the wind. But it came from the west, beyond the serpent's spine wall. This was the land of the Mantid, mortal enemy of all Tandaren. I cannot do this, Xiao Hao decided. Trembling, the Emperor turned to leave. Where are you going? asked a voice. I'm afraid to go on, said the Emperor. Looking into the wastes, he saw a great black ox. Just follow your feet, the black ox said. They will know the way. Xiao Hao descended the wall and crept through the strange realm. To the Emperor, it was a waking nightmare. But his feet led the way. Soon, he heard a dreadful sound. Three vile mantid warriors argued how they would split up and devour their prize. The Monkey King! Xiao Hao was paralyzed with terror. The insidious Shah of Fear held him in place. The voice of the ox came to Xiao Hao, saying, You must not let your fear control you, my emperor. You must control your fear. Xiao Hao looked once again to the land for answers. The great Kaipari trees of the town long steps were legendary for their sap. In one bead of amber, Xiao Hao found his answer. I will not be paralyzed by fear, the emperor proclaimed. Xiao Hao hurled his weight against the nearest tree, and giant globs of sap rained down from above. And now it was the mantid who were held fast as they struggled against the sap. The emperor had saved his friend. As they fled, the Monkey King was overwhelmed by doubt. Emperor, we cannot do this alone, he cried. You should create an army to crush the Mantid once and for all. Free of his doubts and master of his fears, the Emperor was more confident than ever. No, said Xiao Hao. The storm that burns the sky comes for the Mantid as well. We need an army to crush a legion. <laughs>